straight into it. I haven't even finished sipping my tea. Oh, what? How can people start a video like this? That's ridiculous. Well, anyway, guys, hello, everyone, and welcome to Jurassic World, the game, where instantly we're on a, a, a tea break. Oh, that's good. Oh, I like it. Do you want me to get really close to the mic? So, we're in Jurassic World, the game. A staple for the channel. And what I would... Or I would I would truly miss if it was gone. Um, I think it's, it's one of the ways that I can talk to you guys quite uh, openly. And without, you know, focusing too much on the gameplay. And... I don't know. I, I just I just really like it. We got we got some new things in. Um, as you can see, we're about to flip over. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'll click it. The new choppy waters. A massive new Gen Two is cutting through the waves. Yes, that's right. We have what appears to be a mosasaur. I mean, it's the same shot that we saw at the end of Fallen Kingdom or in the trailer of Fallen Kingdom with the mosasaur on the wave. The tail's the same mosasaur. The mouth, the flippers. It's a mosasaur. We're gonna get a mosasaur. Gen 2. Um, I, I mean, as far as Gen 2s go... Uh, oh, yes! Also, I did the lottery! I can't remember what this is. So I have a 1% ch chance of winning a Pterodactylus, a 5% chance of winning a Dustus, and the other ones are DNA. I'm, I'm, I'm expecting not to win the Pterodactylus pack. And we didn't. We only got DNA. Would you, would you believe? <laughs> or we got one of... Oh, we got a 5% chance! That was lucky! Look at Edustus. Oh, nice. Uh, so what else is that? What, I mean, what is it going to be food? It's food. And this is 500 bucks. Uh, no. And this is Gillicus Ortho. Is it not worth it? So I'm not going to participate in those. We will grab our 200 cash because I've still got the rolling fidelity. Um, our DNA building. Oh, yes. The DNA building is getting there. That is... I don't know how much it is. 500? 500. So we've got... We've got a fair bit to go. Uh, how long do we have on the VIP buildings? Um, oh, yes. So the new... This is the new, right? This is the new. <laughs> uh, I saw in the last video people uh, mentioned to me... There's, there's, a, there's a couple of things I need to address uh, before we get into the battles and stuff. So, VIP. It's good at the moment. I think we can all say it's good if you have it. Um, now, it used to just be this. You're 20,000... Uh, to get a, like, a guaranteed one from the solid gold pack, then a decoration, and then a building. Not really worth it. Um, and, of course, the solid gold pack. Now, apparently, when the times four uh, VIP points was on, hopefully I'll put up footage, if I remember, I hope I do, uh, of me opening the solid gold before and after the uh, times four is the same. So what Ludia has done is made the VIP packs give less VIP points back. Um... Hey, Editing James, doing research here on the episode that you were getting times four. Yes, they did nerf the VIP. And I think that applied to everyone, including people who weren't VIP. But now they fixed it. So there you go. That's why I was like, no, they haven't changed. But actually, they did change it. So when you were getting four times, you were just getting the normal VIP amount. Cheeky Lydia, what do you like? Eee. <laughs> anyway, back to the video. Well, look, should we open up one? We'll open up one just to see what we get. So, um, oh dear, a thousand DNA and a pterodactyl. That's really good. And how much VIP points? Normally you'd get 650 and then we get times two to 1,300. Um, was that how it was normally? 1,300? Well, it's... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, but VIP has now gotten this. This is... I mean, you would always have the 50,000 one. And, oh, hold on, tea break! Oh, this is gonna have to be a long one, guys. I got half a cup of tea here to finish. Be right back! Oh, oh that was so good. That's so warming. Oh, I love tea. Anyway, um, so we normally have the 50,000. Uh, but there is two new ones. There is the VIP exclusive building that you can get. This is the Super Club um, and the Solid Gold Plus Pack, um, which gives you a chance of getting one of the creatures that is normally 50,000. So this isn't too bad. Now I have Metaposaurus. I have all of these except for the Procoptodon. Of course, there's a 10% chance of me getting that. So there must be 10 of them. Um... Comparing this to the normal VIP stuff, the Hainosaur and, like, the Solid Gold Pack, you say 50%. Whereas this thing, you don't say 
You, oh, you, I mean, 50% would be 25,000. It costs 35,000. So you're not really saving. You say, I mean, if you want a specific, if, if you don't have any of them, this is really good. However, I have, um, I think all of these, uh, quite high level. There might be, um, one like the Sutiothesis and Pro Ceratosaurus that I don't have, and especially the Ramliosaurus, which I don't, I don't have too much of. But the Procopterodon, I don't have. Um, is it worth it? Now, let's think about this. It cost me 35,000, okay. And now opening a regular solid gold pack gives me 1,300. So we can compare this to three and a half packs of solid gold comparison to the solid gold plus. So I should be getting around about 2,600, 3, 4, 4,200 plus half, 600, 4,900. I should get 4,900 book, sorry, VIP points from opening this solid gold plus pack. I'm going to do it once because I want to try and get the Procopted on. And if I do get it, hey, that's enough. It needs to be 5,000, I think. 5,000 VIP points. I think I did that math correctly. Uh, something like that. Anyway, let's do it. First time ever opening a solid gold plus pack. And just because that's the case... I, I will, however, take a picture, so please excuse that. <laughs> Solid gold. So we're looking for like 5,000 points to get back, if it is equal. Otherwise, unless there's a specific creature that you want, it's not really worth it. So here we go. Oh, we got some coin as well. I didn't even check the prizes either. So it's the same prizes as a solid gold pack. Same prizes. Uh, okay, now how much do we get back? Oh! Oh! Oh, I just threw away a bunch of VIP points. Wow, that pack is not worth it. So, you get, what, 500 DNA? Yep, it's the same prices as a gold, like a gold, solid gold pack. Nah, it is not worth it. The Wuhusaurus at least gives you, like, three times as many bucks, which I guess makes sense. You probably make three times as many VIP points, but in the grand scheme of things, you, I mean, you get one of every like type in here you get a carnivore a flyer a planes uh, an amphibian a cave uh, a, a cavern a savannah you, you get all of them i think every species of dinosaur here or every creature in the game you can get in solid gold and really that's all you need uh, even if you are vip it's really not worth it to open the woohoo vip exclusive or whatever dinosaur it is at the time cycling or the solid gold plus pack because you can get more VIP points back for getting the opening the solid gold, and you get more creatures, and you get more resources. Really isn't worth it at all. Um, so, oh god, what do we have here? Oh, so these things are popping up when you load up the game. Now, I also had somebody message me on Twitter saying that they accidentally spent like 3,000 bucks on a Carnotaurus or something like that. When they asked it to Ludia, could we get, I, you know, I didn't mean to do that, can I get it back? Um, Ludia said there's nothing that they can do. So, I mean, I don't know how Ludia works with this sort of thing. However, I do know other app games. And it is very easy to go into somebody's account and give them bucks back. In fact, when I lost my account, when it got stolen and things got sold... Um, they gave me a currency back. And now I'm not saying, Ludi, you need to refund everybody. But I think if people specifically go out the way to contact you and show that this happened, if they can prove it somehow, I think it should be done. Um, because when you open up the game and you're clicking through the menus or you're clicking OK at the bottom or whatever, this can pop up. And there's no are you sure. You just click it. Um, another sneaky way to siphon books away from you by accident. 3,000 books is a lot um, to lose. That, that, that's months in some cases, if you don't have VIP, months uh, of, you know, doing battle events, opening packs um, of getting that back. So I think they need to cha either change it so you do have an are you sure message. At least then, you know, they would negate any any reason for them to be like, oh, well, we didn't, you know, we, you know, we gave you the option. What's this? Winning wish, little wish, and big wish. What was this for? Um, oh, I mean, 500, fi oh, we're guaranteed of those. That's good. And then little wish. Oh, that's cute. 
I don't know why it's a Udon and then a, like, why is Udon with the, the silver one when you can get, can you get silver creatures? And you can get gold creatures. Why is it, it's, Udon's in, you can get silver. Oh my God. Can you get bronze as well? Please tell me you can't get rares. No, you can't. There's no need to put a, a Udon on the top of that pack. It should be a silver. It gives the impression that you can definitely win a Udon when really it's less than 1%. It's probably 0.001% or something ridiculous. With the winning wish, at least there's a 1% chance of getting it. Oh dear. I mean, with the little wish, you could, you have a less than 1% chance of getting Indominus Rex, but they don't put Indominus on it. Uh, and what about the other packs? Now, this is good. They, they often do just give you the option to buy packs. Four bucks. I think that's a good idea. Um, however, you can't get books from the packs. But let's say you're needing something in specific and you want to just see if you can get another Therizinosaurus. Maybe you don't have the DNA, but you have the books. It's an option because you can't trade books for DNA. Uh, or at least not from the trades, I don't think. So I have been a busy beaver while we have been... Look at this, we're 12 minutes in. Oh, I love this so much to do. Who said this game's boring? Okay, let's collect this. Uh, 30, 30, look at that. Look, and a Stegosaur from a, a VIP bonus uh, mystery pack. You get so many good things in there. Whoa! 10,000 DNA for Cenozoic? Whoa. Okay, uh, uh, the food and the coin's not good, but... You have a chance. Bear in mind, it's very low. I mean, 10,000 DNA. Can you, can you, I don't have the Uru. <gasps> I don't have the Eulogiceros, though. And I think 10,000 is more expensive than most of those legendaries. So, you, I mean, you got a very low chance of winning a Mastodon or one of these things. But, hey, could be worth it. You're going to buy one of them. And I only have 19,000 because, uh, because they did the VIP event. You would get in the hot time discount, you would get a chance, it was like 40% discount in Cenozoic Hybrid. So, by Jove, I bought them. Um, we'll have a quick look at this to see if there's anything worth trading. Yes, I'll trade that. I do not need food right now. Um, you know what? I need coin more than I do food at this point, so I'm happy to do that. Um, see, I'm not trading that. God, ooh. Tell you what, yes, I don't need a flower bed. Get rid of it. Uh, ooh, I'll, take, I'll keep that though. But again, let's see what we get uh, for coin. Are we going to get any good dinosaurs? What should we go for? Jurassic, Aquatic, or Cenozoic? Um, I, you know what? I'm kind of good for Cenozoic and Aquatic. I, I can normally do those without buying back a creature, but Jurassic, I don't. So a Pteranodon for 35 million coin? I'll take it. Uh, okay, let's go coin again. Let's go for an aquatic. Uh, the Baculite for 28 million. Not really great. Um, and coin... Oh, we can't do any. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, I see how it is. Right, well, how about we collect these? Look, we're getting XP. Oh, God, he needs... Also goes a boss battle as well, a Salamander Gold statue. <gasps> Ooh, Diplomate in level uh, one or something, what do you need? But no, look what I've been busy over here. John Hammond statues everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Didn't manage to finish it in time for this video, but hopefully we can level up. So let's give this a shot. So we're be just below half of level 86. Well, this costs millions, by the way. Absolutely millions. Now, the reason why I didn't do another trade is because I'm going to sell these. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, I was going to say, I guess I could sell that. Now, the thing is, when I play this on my iPhone, and I just want to place down loads of stuff. It does a thing where it, like, it, the game can't calculate um, how many things. Are, yeah, and there you go. <laughs> if I do loads, it goes, nope. Not going to happen. Going to crash the game. Oh, never mind. It's because I, I leveled up. And this was a pack, apparently. So, uh, that's why it broke. So, 30 cash, 30 cash. Uh, not so bad, not so bad. So, we are now level 37. I don't know if we're... I mean, maybe. I think we could get to level 38, man. I think we could do this. Okay, let's take it slowly. So, we don't crash the game this time. Maybe we can open up a pack. Now, sometimes... I, I wonder if you get a mystery pack every time. Or if it's random. Like, sometimes you get a... A rare pack, or sometimes you get a super rare pack. That was definitely a mystery pack, because we got 30 VIP points, which would be switched into 60, I think, because we're, we're VIP. Yeah, we're definitely up to level 38. We're definitely there. 
I thought maybe I crashed because I just was clicking things way too quick, but I feel like in the past when I when they did increase the level cap um, and I got the pack, it that happened as well. So I think it's a case of because I'm going up a level and I'm uh, I'm putting so many things down, the game crashes. It's like, oh, can't do that. Too many processing things going on. Also, have you noticed Code 19's gone? I think Ludia took it out. I think Ludia deliberately took Code 19 out because of the pandemic that's going on right now. I think I'm just like, yeah, we can't have that in. We could have just changed it to Code 17 or 25. <laughs> okay, ready guys? Hopefully we won't crash. How many? Two? I'm going to say two more. Oh, let's go one more. And one more. Ah, you pocket you! <laughs> I knew it! I knew it was going to crash. Okay, yeah, the game just crashes every time I level up. Uh, so what do we get this time? 30 VIP points. It's another, another uh, mystery pack. Okay, but we are level 88 now. Uh, I think the new level cap is 90. I think we're going to get close. I think we're definitely going to be over halfway. Because this goes on forever. And I might as well just click them all now. Because it doesn't matter how fast I go. Because we're just going to... We're going to crash anyway. <laughs> oh, what do you think, guys? Are we going to do it? Are we going to do it? I think we might be able to. I don't know. I think we might be able to do it. Are we going to get to level 89? Wow, look at that. We're going to do it. We're going to get max. Yeah, I think I think this is just enough. It's going to be incredibly close. And even, even then, we've got so much coin stored up in all these John Hammond statues that we could just sell loads and then place loads. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. We're close. 88. 88. So, what do we, do we get some stuff? Oh, I collected from the DNA building. Ah, that's right. Yes. Also, there's, there was... Oh, yeah, code 19 delay. Look at that. So, I get one. I got... Oh, no, it's 100 Sarkozukas. I'll take it. So, they are still calling it code 19. So, maybe there is just something wrong with the event in the game. Um, I'm really not too sure. But what I will do is just sell a bunch of these statues. Because I need, what, like 40 million coin? Uh, now, I'm wondering if I could just sell loads of these or will the game crash? I think the game might crash if I just keep on, like, doing it this quick. But we'll see. I think with the iPhone or whatever, like, maybe I'm, Because this is an iPad, so there's more processing power. Maybe I could just place loads of things down on here. And, the, the, like, the device is like, yep, I can handle it. I have the processing power. Which maybe my old iPhone can't take it. So when I, when I do this, like, super quick, like this, I just try and go as quickly as possible, it will crash it. Oh, yes. Look, this will... Well, actually, no. I was going to say, this will all be turned back into more John Hammonds. But it won't. Um, but now that we have this, we can actually excavate uh, more of the land. Two more plots for coin. And I don't know how much that costs. It's definitely going to be a couple of million. So I'm probably going to sell this lot here. Okay, so we'll, we'll speed up. Be right back. I got it down. What you do, right, is you get the John Hammonds close to the bottom of the screen, and then you can, like, lightning it. Look at that. Bam! So, that is from not too much millions to that much. So, we got two million there, and I kind of want to keep this foresty area. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. I will, however, destroy that. Deforestation and destroy that, because we did get two more levels. And the rest is 200. So, uh, let's go into here and just see what we can trade in a Jurassic. A Carnoraptor for 47 million. I'll take it. Oh, that's a good hybrid to have. Okay, so there we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy about things we can do. Okay, so we've also got this Daedocarus to hatch. And I guess we could keep it. I think it might have a hybrid. I think that guy does have a hybrid. We've also got these battles to do as well. But let's have a look. What do we have? Stockholders visit, which if I remember right, is always horrendous. Yep, it's horrendous. And you got to do three of those battles, which I'm not going to do because sod it. Um, I mean, I'll probably end up doubling my VIP points, but it's only 3,000. Nah, no need for it. Uh, legendary Rumble, which is good. But we have this as well. Battle stage 87 and 88, leaving 89 and 90. Whoa, you get a Mosasaur at the end? That's awesome. Okay, right. Let's go for a team of Indo... Well, actually, we don't even need Indoraptors. We'll have one Indoraptor, a Tani Calagrius, and a Baryonyx. Look at them in the rain. Oh, it looks so cool. I miss this arena. I miss it. This is where all this is where it all started. 
This is where you open up the game and it just throws you into a battle straight away. Whee-ya! Your Tyrannus killed! Feather Raptor. Or, well, a feathered Tyrannus, wasn't it? Feather Tyrannosaurid or whatever. Ooh, brings in you. You're going to attack me, are you, dearie? Okay. Hmm. I think you're dead now. Yes. That's what Interruptor should sound like when he's chasing Maisie around. Oh, come back! Please! Mummy! <laughs> <laughs> so, somebody put that in, that'd be amazing. Uh, I kind of want to do like either a green screen challenge or a voiceover challenge. Because there's somebody who makes these amazing, uh, or, ha or did make, these amazing videos of like Godzilla or Jurassic World with uh, voice snippets of YouTubers over the top of it. I'd love to just give them loads of voice snippets if they wanted. Or, or just for you guys to put them over the top of videos. Uh, maybe, we'll, maybe we'll do that one day. So that's a Uteranus, a done. Um, so we've still got another one. We've got 7,000 DNA. Um, we'll have another Indoraptor. Um, and then we'll have a Eudemorphodon just in case things go south, followed by a Glyphonix. Rawr! Look at you! Right, okay. Uh, ooh, we have to go for reserve. Look at that, he's got that much health. And I like that finally Ludia are just increasing the level cap. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, we didn't go for one block. Oh, but that's fine, because that 1,200 attack gets turned into 200 attack. <laughs> and he's got to switch out anyway, so he's only got three attack. But, ooh, that's enough. That is enough, though. Ooh, no! Indoraptor. But this is good, because then we can just go for two and one reserve, and we've won anyway. Yeah. Take a go on a Patasaurus, and we got Glyphonix anyway. Look at that, even with the, the buffs. Oh, barely 800. Barely, not even 800 attack. Uh, but I will just go for four reserves in one block, because why not? It's pretty, pretty safe for sure that I'm going to win this. Oh, he killed him. No. It's Glyphonix's time to shine. Kills you in three. And then, should we just go for a full-on eight? Let's do it in slow motion as well. Yes. Look at him in all of his glory, or her glory, I should say. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> it looks like it was what it says. Hello. I won. So, there you go. Another 180 DNA plus 7,000 DNA. And what's this? And what's this? What's this? Playing four days. Uh, to unlock a Dimorphodon, which is a legendary, not unlike Jurassic World Alive, where it isn't. So, these packs, okay, the Herbivore Challenge. Um, wow, that's not too hard. Uh, what about legendary? Ooh, that one is hard. Let's do the Herbivore Challenge, because we win a pack out of this, and it's, it really isn't that hard. One, two, three, not the, uh, even a level one Monostegatops, I could have fed it a little bit, and probably helped out a lot. Um, I'm gonna go for one reserve. Stigamork is the best, but... Uh, well, I'm happy to lose this. I'm okay to lose this. Ooh! Only one hit? Look at that. Look how how slowly he flaps his wings and somehow remains airborne. Ooh! What are you gonna do? You're gonna go for another one? Because that wouldn't matter. You have to go for two. Oh, he does it! Ah, uh, the bot's being uh, very nice to me. Right. One, two, three. Kills him. Oh no, well, you might have one extra. May as well go for just. Yeah, there it is. Words, James. <laughs> Quetzalcoatlus. Did you know? I had no idea until I was uh, watching a uh, documentary on the Aztecs that the Quetzalcoatl, I think it's Quetzalcoatl, was one of their gods. So that's obviously where Quetzalcoatlus gets his name from. I had no idea. And th uh, there you go. If you didn't know, you do know now. Hmm, maybe it must have been uh, discovered in Mexico. Although, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> but it would make sense if it's named after the uh, Aztec god. Unless maybe the archaeologist just really liked that Aztec god, I guess? Maybe? Uh... Well, we won. Just go for six. No, Arrow Titan. I like to dislocate me, Jewel. 50 points, there you go. Only three more left to do. Oh, wait, what? Oh. Still herbivores. Oh god, this is gonna get crazy because it's gonna get to carnivores. It'll be amphibians, and then it'll go herbivores, and then the final one will be carnivores. Oh, this one's a lot tougher. Ooh. 
Um, those, I think? Yeah, I'm gonna have to go for a block line right- Oh, God. Okay, well, oh, no. Oh, I didn't want him to go first. That's not good, because now I have to go for, like, two block. Right off the bat. Ooh, I just got 4,000 health! Oh! I'm gonna save my Segna Suchis, though. Okay, so he could have... Well, I have to go for two reserve now, because if you... Yep, he's got... He's got four! Oh, God! It really doesn't help to not go first. Why does he go first? It's an event, not a PvP fake. <laughs> God. Yeah, I'm just gonna quit this. We've definitely lost. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way. Um... Oh, my God, I can't do it. I... I ah, um... Really, my best one. I gotta fuse the mono stegotops, I think. Yeah, I think I, I have to fuse my mono stegotops. I've got two level tens. Uh, but where are you, mono? Where are you, baby? Come here. There you are. Oh wow. I uh, will feed you as well. Get you to level ten. Fuse and bucket. There you go. So, what's your three thousand health? Nine hundred. Jesus. And then a feed you, 3,000 health to 966 attack, 2, 4,885 health, and 1,277 attack. Oh, look at him, nomming on the leaves. Right, so one more, and then we've got a level 40 mono stegotops. Not bad, not bad. So let's give this a shot, shall we? Look at that shot up. Right, let's go for you. Uh, hopefully we go first. Because that was a nightmare. Then a Lumbia. Lumbia to finish. Uh, no! No! But we do survive even if they do hit us for one. Which they don't. So we have to go for... Um, it's 2,800. So we can go for one block and one reserve. Because they won't be able to kill us in two hits. But anyway. Ooh, this is looking better. See, the bot just... It just knew. The bot just knew it was gonna... It was gonna be able to kill me. I'm just gonna go through as I've sought it. Ooh. He's got four, is it? Four. He's gonna have to go for three to kill me, though. Um, doesn't go for anything. That's great. I can go for four reserves and two block. And he goes... Oh, we've survived! Because he's only got four. Oh, he's got five. Okay, if he goes for five, we're dead. Damn. Damn. Oh, if I went for one more block. If I just went for one more block. That was the play. That was the play. Okay, but this is good. One, two, three. Doesn't kill him! I got a you buggy! Three should have killed him. Okay, well, it brings in this guy. He's got less health, so that's better. One, two, three. Oh, it goes for four. Right, here we go. This is it. Olumbia has more attack. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. Can definitely kill you in three. However, dies in two hits. So one, two, three. You're dead. Factoring three, because we have to. We, we cannot be hit by two. I don't think Kool-Aid's attack's higher. Oh, it is, because it's level 40. Super Kool-Aid. So we needed to block for three, or else we'd be dead. Oh! Oh, it's all to play for if he blocks for... One, two, three. Right, if he blocks for four, we've lost. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, he blocked for two. <laughs> That's good. Get the amphibians out of here. I don't want to see him. That's crazy. Okay. Right. Oh, it's oh, now it's it's gonna end. It's gonna end with carnivores, and I need to save my best ones. Um, ooh, ooh. Who's got the most health? Oh, they're they're kind of all the same. Um, let's start with the one with the least attack, then, and then go for Monostegatops, who can do a lot of attack, and then a Margasaur to finish up. That's ooh, the team's not the best uh, in my in my in terms. Oh God, if they go first, don't go first, don't go first. I mean, well, sorry, don't hit first. Uh, so we can block for two, making sure that we definitely survive. Oh, okay, okay. Well, that's fine, that's fine. You can do it. Go for two attack. Oh, yes! I'll take it. So we have to go for two block again, because he's got three. That's why going first is just so much better. Oh, okay. Now we're just going to go for three reserve. And he's on four. How fair is this? One, two, three. He's going to go for five out of his six. You just you just win if you go first. It's so annoying. Especially against bots. God. I mean, they're all bots, but you know what I mean. One, two. Factor in one. And then in case he actually did go for a reserve and didn't block, which he did, I'm going to go for four, four blocks here. Because I can't take two hits. So he's going to have five. Hopefully he attacks me. I hope so. Go for it. Go for five. Yes! 
<laughs> right, so now I can go for three block and one reserve, because I survived. Now, you might have thought I might have attacked him. And, yeah, I could have, but I wanted to survive. And there we go! We're in a better situation! <laughs> okay, so, one, two, three. Ah, oh, see, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it wouldn't kill him. Ah. Oh, I thought, I thought three would. But I had, a, I had a feeling. I had a feeling it wouldn't. Okay, so two attack out of his four, leaving him with two block. And, or two reserves. And he can't kill me in two hits. So, I have to go for like four block and one reserve in case he went for... Yeah, okay. That's fine. Please attack for four. Please attack for four. Please. Please. I knew he wouldn't. There's like an algorithm and I just had the feeling that this bot wouldn't do it. Um, so, I have, to, I have to kind of go all out here. Um, I get the feeling he's going to block for two and reserve for two though. You know what? If he's going to do that... You know what? I'm just going for five. Five. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. Yep, six. Come on, please hit me for six. Don't go for five. You don't! You, you, oh, I deliberately did that. Okay, we can't die in two hits, so we'll go for three block. Oh my god. <laughs> this is tough. This one's to No! Oh, I'm going to have to block for five. I'm going to have to block for five. It's toying with me. Okay, okay, how many did that leave you with? Six. Just go for six. Don't go for five. Will you stop it? Come on. Oh, the bot knows. Uh, I have to. I have to go for three block. Because if I go for two block, he'll definitely go for two reserves. Or one reserve, sorry. Four. Oh, you're deliberately doing this. But that's good, actually. That's not too bad. He did attack. So he's only got five possible attacks on me. So I can go for three block and two reserve. Right, there it is. Okay. 2,200. He can't get 900 out of that. Right, he's got two block. We've got two reserve. Uh, one, two, three, four. And we killed him! Oh, that was... We had to play that so well. Could have lost it at any point there. Woo! Another 50 DNA. Hardly seems worth it. And Oh! Yeah, I thought so. Here it is. Okay, so, yeah, it's got to be these guys. In fact, I don't even think we need a Monostegatops, if I've got to be honest. I think we're just going to do with Enosaurus and then switch out. I think that's good. So, 4,000 hits. Yeah, we can go for one reserve, because Tyrus can't kill us, and it's level 122 reg. We got this. We got this. Second of Suchus has got this. Don't need to waste Monostegatops. Because I might need to use him for something else. And he'll take a while to come back. So three's enough, though. Two, four, six. Yep, that'll definitely be enough. Oh, he's not doing anything. Not doing anything. Also, we need to take out the salamander as well. My goodness, so much to do. What are you doing? Why are you not attacking? I'm not going to attack you with um, a patasaurus. Are you kidding me? It's got 300 attack. Ooh. Ooh, seven. Four, five, six. I think seven's enough, just enough, and there he goes. Ram! Oh, it's been ages since I've seen the T-Rex attack from their side. All right, here we go. Ah, two hits, and you're dead. One, two, one, two, three, and one, two, three. Head wallop! Ooh, oh, tail wallop. There you go. Okay, in comes the raptor. All we need to do now is switch out to the Enosaurus, unless he goes for four attack, which he didn't, because then I could have easily have killed him and then had enough in backup. So, Enosaurus comes in. Bless you. You came in just as Jurassic World Alive the game was released. I remember. Because you're in both of those games. So, seven. Please go for seven. Six, seven. Oh, he's got one, one possible thing to play with here. Right, so I have to go for four block here. So, one, two. Right, I have to factor in one extra attack. Now, I can die in two hits. So, I have to factor in... You know, him having five, so I have to factor in four block and one reserve. So therefore, no matter what he does, I'm safe. So he did go for the extra, ex sorry, the block, not the reserve, but I'm safe either way. Uh, depends what this guy does. And he goes for an all-out attack. There it is. Ooh, right. Five. Damn, that was close. <laughs> that was really tight. 
It was a tail whop, then a head whop, and then a bite, and then finally a slashy. Prehistoric planters, we get a thousand DNA and a stegosaurus. And, oh, only 50, but it's 100 because we're VIP. So it's better than nothing. <gasps> we're getting close to unlocking the Darwin Opterus. What else have we got? All these events. Look at them. <gasps> Look at them. Oh, we have not like an aquatic or a stampede wave in ages. Look at that. Gold rewards. Oh, it's going to be amazing. Look at all this. And then we've got another Gen 2 Fury. That's good. Um, I'm expecting most sort Gen 2 to be a bit like T-Rex Gen 2 and Velociraptor Gen 2. They're good. I mean, they're okay, but they're nothing to write home about. And they take ages to get, so sod it. Right, so we need to... What is what is the missions here? Um, reach boss level 7 and level 10. Is it possible to do that? I don't think it is because it's a fly. We need flyers. And unfortunately, it's an amphibian, meaning that more, all of my carnivores are useless. One, two, three, four, five. I got five carnivores in my top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, if you count my top ten, six of them are carnivores. <laughs> so, and only one's a flyer. Interesting, but we need to get into level ten. So let's have a look. Let's let's just try and get into level ten. Um, in one go. Should we do it? Should we try it? Level ten in one go. Ah, uh, is it possible? Is it, though? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's see if we can get to level 10 in one battle. Come on, we got this, we got this. So already, oh, I can't kill him in one hit. Whoops. Even with my added. Probably Pterodactylus level 40 can, though. Ooh, but he's only got 100, uh, sorry, 180 uh, attack, though. What's that? Yaku Hachiju. I think. Or is it Hachiju Yaku? Something like that. Anyway, Japanese. <laughs> I'm wondering if there's a connecting there, though. I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's go. They can't do anything to us. What a pitiful 180 attack. Right, we, we can do it, right? Getting to level 10. It seems easy, right? Two block, he's got... Oh, he only had one. Whoppa! Right, what, is it, what does his attack get turned to, though? 182? Is it doubled? 260. No, it's not that much. And the health doesn't increase that much either. Ooh, what's it gonna go? Oh, seven. That might be enough, though. Whoa, whoa, the double slap hits. Oh, we killed him and we're only at level two. But it's okay, because we can go for this. And, I mean, hey-ho. Oh, no, I, wa I want to see his level seven and eight attack not in slow-mo, because that was so cool. I haven't seen that in ages. When was the last time we had Salamander? I don't know. Pretty long time ago, though. Um, doesn't... Yeah, the, the, the bots... The, the bosses are always like this. They never just go for, like, little hits. Okay, what are you going to go for? Two block? Oh, that's fine. Whoa, level four achieved. Come on, level ten. We can do it. We can do it. We're already one down, though, so that's not so good. Six. Oh, that's enough to kill me. That's enough to kill me. Oh, four is not, though. Oh, he's got two block. He's got two block. We've got him on the ropes. Four reserves, go again, and he went for two block. <laughs> Level five. It's Udomophodon that can kill him in one hit. Especially even at these levels. I got like 5,000 attack, and he's only got 4,000 health. That's without the boosts. Okay, we still kill him in two. Two. Keep going. Factor in the two. And again, level six. Whoa. <laughs> but however, he's going to have six and definitely kill us. 180 attack, two. 431. Uh, oh, it's not guaranteed, though. He might not do it. He's still not doing it! Let's keep going! Factor it <laughs> to level 7! Yes! We are... Kill him! Are we gonna get to level 10? He's got, like, 8 attack now. He's got 8 attack. Let's slow him down. I wanna see this. This is gonna be 8. 1, 2, 3, or 7. Yep, here we go. Let's see it! <gasps> He's gonna go for the wow! For the wow! Oh, I want to do him like a triple one. So he's got one block. All right, then. Come on. The final push. Metrophodon with the most attack and health of all of them. So one, two. One, two. And four. Here we go. Oh, he's got five. Okay, so level eight achieved. Just two more takedowns. Come on, we got this. I wonder how much damage we've done to him. Five. Ooh, 500 attack now. 500 attack. Ooh. 
one, two. Factor in one, two. And then we just have to go for four block. We have to. Oh! Oh, it was perfect! I, I, I was still thinking it took two hits. Level nine achieved. Okay. Yep. We can't do much. He's only got six. Oh, he goes for it! <laughs> Ooh. Uh, one, and then two, and then one reserve. You know what? Let's just see how high we can get him. Whoa! You can't touch this. Dun, 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 level 10. Yay! One battle to level 10 with regular creatures. No mods, no hacks. Um, one, two, three, and then two reserves. Ooh, that's scary. Ooh, he's got seven. I think he can kill me. I think four's enough. Oh, he's not going to go for it. Should we just go out in a blaze of glory? We'll just go for six attack. Let's sort it. Let's just, just go for six. Oh! Oh, we got it to level 11. <laughs> he went for like five blocks. We're definitely dead, though. We're definitely dead. Yep, six is definitely enough. 700 attack. Level 11, one battle. Wow. I don't think you could get better than that unless you had more Metrophodons. Jump. How much damage in total? Oh, 86,000. Well, we definitely did uh, reserves, hybrids. We didn't use six pterosaurs because we couldn't. But there you have it. Level 10 achieved. So that is, whoa. We did fight once, get level 10 and level 7. That is a bunch of Indoraptor DNA and Mono Stegotops DNA. Woo! Getting close to the next one. But I'm going to leave it there, guys, because it's been 40 minutes. Woo! How time flies. And until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye bye